vlogging for like the past like week but basically i just i'll just probably put like a few clips or maybe you've just seen like a few clips of like what i've been doing but basically right now i'm in oxford and i'm kind of staying with my friend at the moment um this is like the, the kind of garage that he converted into like a nice little studio and like um he has like the cutest dog ever and I'll, I'll post some like videos of the dog because like titan he's like such an adorable and such a good boy and um right now i am going to bista village with my other friend she studies in oxford and i uh, we're just gonna like hang out and Hopefully not buy too many things because honestly I do not have that much space to like stuff anything inside my luggage right now. I'm like staring down because like my luggage is at my feet. But yeah, um, it's probably gonna be like pretty chill in Oxford like because like I don't really plan on doing anything and also like I'm falling sick so in the morning I kind of just ran to the not ran but like I walked to the Holland Bar that's like nearby and then I just like scooped up all the like cold remedies and like sore throat remedies and all the things like that so yeah but I'm still gonna eat my halo top tonight so obviously I'm not that sick yet so yeah I'm just going so I'm just like getting ready now and yeah I don't have much planned as I said probably tomorrow I'm gonna meet my other friend for drinks or like lunch or something and then you know I'll probably try and go to the gym maybe tomorrow so bye that's not me by the way that's I'm watching like some French youtuber her name is La Loge de Gabrielle, and she, uh, she's a makeup person, so anyway, bye bye. Go. Hey then. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> One. Hey then. What happened, Nathan? <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got back from Bister Village and uh, I went there with my friend. I think the previous clip was probably me just talking about the day but in the end I didn't like film or do anything really because like, <sighs> this is Titan by the way. So I didn't really film because I was like, oh I've been to Bister Village before so like there's not really much point in filming. Yes, this is a new dress titan. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just show you what I bought there because like I'm quite happy with what I bought. Um, mostly just Lululemon cost and some stuff from Roger Revere. So anyway, this is, this is, I only bought one thing from cost. This is from cost. Um, this was like 23 pounds, I think. And yeah, it's basically, I call it a potato sack dress because it's exactly like a potato sack. I'll show you what, and it's really funny because they, it's like Chinese New Year soon. It's on Monday. So I bought, so they gave me this like receipt, which is in the Nang Pao, which is really funny. And so... I should like It's opposite. Oh well. Okay, so I'll show you what I'll show you what I bought from Lulu Lemon first. Um Okay, it's mostly just a lot of like stuff that Okay. Okay, so I'll show you guys. I'll mm -hmm. I'll show you guys what I bought from Blue Eleven first. First one is this like sweater because I, I really kind of needed like a like a long sleeve that I could like I guess wear on the inside. I don't know, but I really like this. Um, I don't have a long sleeve actually like that. I I think I'll probably like, wear it underneath or something. We'll see. I'm not, I don't know why I can't like speak at the moment. Um, then I bought these pants because um, I have the bra top for for this and like so it'll be like a nice matching set. Like yeah, I do actually usually like wear everything like matchy matchy, which is a bit. I guess some people might find it a bit much, but um, I really like it. So I bought this bra and then I bought like these. Um, these are aligned crops and oh yeah, the 
the this one was the train times seven eight pack. So yeah, but they used to kind of like pair together. They were having like two bras for like forty pounds. So I was like, okay, I'll get two bras. This is really nice. It has like the kind of like almost like a Japanese kind of print on it. And I actually don't have any plain colored Lululemon tights, which is amazing. And also I got this um, Wonder Under Crop Curve. Um, it's like this. It has, and I bought the same um, print and, uh, with this bra. With this bra, it has like um, like that. Yeah, that bra just now is like just the energy bra, so like it's like the regular kind. Um, okay, I'm gonna like stuff everything back. I have no idea how I'm gonna bring everything back because like I actually have quite a lot of stuff already because like my clothes take up a lot of space because I wear a lot of those like big skirts and things like that. And my favorite, I hit the table. I think Titan wants to go out. Titan, do you want to go out? Okay, I don't know. So, I bought like two pairs of Roger Revere shoes because I really need shoes right now because my flats are like, they're like absolutely disgusting. Um, the first one I got were these. Sorry, for, for one second, I kind of forgot what I bought. Um, but I bought these blue flats with like the kind of like a black and blue buckle because I thought like I could wear them in my green dress, I could wear them in my black and white dress, so like pretty versatile in my opinion. Would you like some shoes? I can like the smell of feet. I'm not sure why. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, and these ones are really heavy. And these ones, I wanted these sneakers for a really really long time. And I finally got them. These are the pink sneaky viv shoes. Oh my god, I'm so happy with them. They look so great. Okay, I'm really happy with these shoes because like I've actually really really wanted them for a really long time because like I just really I like these kind of like easy as sneakers because like you just need like put your feet in them and like you don't need to do anything. So yeah, I am really, this is probably my favorite project of the day because I, oh my god, I just like really love these pieces so much. I have no idea how I'm going to bring everything back because now I have two shoe boxes plus a whole lot of blue and then clothes. But hopefully the fact that, you know, I've eaten all my food kind of makes up for it. Because I bought, I bought like food for like the bus right here and stuff like that, just in case like there was no food, so. Anyway, I'll probably just like rest for the rest of the day. Rest for the rest of the day, but like, yeah, I probably just like hang out with Titan and hang out with um with the others more, and then like um tomorrow morning, tomorrow tomorrow tomorrow, af tomorrow afternoon, I'm meeting my friend for lunch um at the city city center, and then after that I need to go for gym because I was supposed to go today, but I couldn't find it. They were closed, right? And then, yeah, that's about it. I'm not actually planning to do a lot of things here because like, I just kind of really want to rest and stuff. Right, Titan? And hang out with Titan. That's why I'm here. So yeah, that's about it. And I will hopefully have more vlog footage to show you, not just me like, like pulling shit out of the bag, literally. Okay, bye-bye. Titan's so cute. Titan. Sit down, Titan. Sit. Sit, Titan. Sit. Sit. Okay, he's not gonna listen to me.
I just woke up from a nap. Um, I it's like I know this vlog is a little bit like sporadic and stuff like that because like I think before this, um, so on Friday I went to see the Curious Citizen of a Dog at Nighttime and that was really nice because they kind of really use like technology and they use like the sound and um, like beaming like um, even just on the, onto the the stage which is like a cube and it's just extremely beautiful and like really really nice because it really shows because the main character is artistic so I think it really kind of shows how much you know how like sensory overload and stuff like that so I really recommend that one and today's Sunday so Saturday I went to watch the cast child the Harry Potter and cast child and that was so good oh my god um I think I don't want to spoil it because like it's such a nice such a nice um play but honestly they do because you know magic and everything and they really do it very well so there are a lot of special effects and the way they use the theater to do it and like just and and they use like screens and stuff like that and it's just like really really cool because like I think that even if you it's nice I mean if you're a Harry Potter fan you should definitely go but even if you don't really know Harry Potter I think you just need to know like the basics I'm just looking up and I'm realizing how dirty my luggage is because it's on top of the fridge um, and yeah so even if you're not a Harry Potter fan I think you should go and watch it like maybe just like read like what happens and everything because I think like the pretty much the entire theatre they're all adults like okay not all adults but like I would say 70% like, of them are adults I think my Ocado delivery is yet hold on okay so yeah um my Ocado delivery came so this is like okay, ignore it for I know it's really disgusting I I anyway what was talking about the cursed child was that it's definitely something that everyone should watch because it's just such a good like theater experience it's easily like one of the best well-produced plays that I've ever watched in a long actually probably I've ever watched to be honest and oh and today I went to the Victoria and Albert uh, exhibition the uh, Dior it's called Dior Design of Dreams and oh my god that was so breathtaking because I love Dior so much and like going there I was like ah because like all the dresses were so pretty and like it's basically like the history of the house so they kind of like order the exhibition according to like so if like certain inspirations like country-wise so there's India, China, Mexico and Japan and some other countries and then they also order it according to like Later on, they, they, they order it according to designer because, like, you know, the, the head designer of Dior has changed because, you know, Christian Dior has since Christian Dior has passed away. So it's been Aïs Saint Laurent, um, Ralph Simmons, John Galliano, and then right now it's Marie Grazia, which I don't really like, but never mind. But yeah, that was such a new, nice exhibition. But after I came, because I had like an hour of dance, an hour and a half of dance class after that, so I was so so tired after that. So I just came home and like died. I did not do anything. I just ate and I slept. But I want to show you something funny. You see this pot? Like, I got it from Amazon that, you know, that explains the enormous mess on the floor. It's basically this thing called multifunction electric cauldron. This is like... And it's it's so cool because like, it boils water. It's, I mean, it's supposed to be like, you know, a portable cooker thing that, um, that I bought because I, I'm going to Brussels in next week. Yeah, so, and since I'm staying in a hotel, I thought like, I'll just bring something. And it's collapsible, so it, it fit in that box. So it's like, when you collapse, it's this big. So, um, it seems to be boiling well. And I, I don't think I can ask for anything more. So yeah, that's, that's it. But I think I'll end the vlog here because like, it's just been like a messy ass vlog. And I'm really sorry because like, I just had no time to like, uh, like actually sit down and be like, oh, today I'm doing blah, blah, blah. So... I hope you enjoyed whatever that uh, whatever footage that I have and I I think the next vlog that I have I will be in Brussels and hopefully I think I'll speak Mandarin in that one. Because usually when I go traveling it's easier to speak in Mandarin. I know my place is a mess. It's not usually like this, I'm like trying to like wash clothes and do all that stuff at the same time. So anyway, um glad to see you guys. And oh yeah, I forgot to say that I did buy a lot of shit from TJ Maxx and I need to like pause thing um but yeah i i just tj maxx is like so amazing like, i i just bought like clothes and what did i buy yeah i bought a skirt dolce gabbana skirt um and then six dress the blue one that i think if you guys follow me on instagram you'll see it it's the one i use with the belt and also on 
What else did I buy? I bought like one more thing. Um, oh yeah, I bought pink carbon dress. I think I wear all these things in Brussels because like, yeah. I realise that it's very uncomfortable to sit with like a petticoat because like, you know, those really nice vintage dresses that I wear, I have to wear a petticoat inside or like, you know, I choose to wear a petticoat and it's kind of uncomfortable when you sit down for a really long time. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, that was a very long, meandering way of speaking and, um, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye-bye.